that winning attitude, that winning spirit, you know, Alabama produces winners. So it's just this overall commitment to excellence that uh, really I think is attractive to, to people, is attractive to me. Aspiration towards excellence is important. The students who come through the University of Alabama do have the curiosity, do have the commitment, do have the drive to do great things, things that will be of value and service to our state. You know, I wanted to come back to Alabama because I knew of the opportunity this state can give me. And I look at Huntsville and see there's so many opportunities there that people are flocking to. I look at Birmingham and think to myself that it's growing. With the, the banks that we have in Alabama, the operating companies we have in Alabama, the financial companies, especially right now with the high tech that's definitely moving in our state, we have so many opportunities for students in, the, in our state to, to be able to stay and have good paying jobs, have good careers. Alabama has so many places where we can make an impact and I want to make a positive impact on the state of Alabama. The University of Alabama prepares young men and women in, in whatever field they'll go in, whether it was in the, from the classroom and the rigor of the study that we had to the extracurricular activities that, that brought us together and, and that we would solve common, common problems together. Being able to translate those skills and those experiences into the workforce gives us a head start on, I would say, any, any university in the country. It's, it's more than just your degree and that specific thing you're studying. It's about making you a better person and a more well-rounded person so that you have more perspective when you get out into the world and more connections that way. I think a big thing that Alabama taught me was how to gain people's trust. I can deliver on this project, I can do it right, I can get it done on the right time, but also I can learn and grow during that process. When I was working in a research lab at UA, I was given my own project, and that gave me the opportunity to, to see what it's like to then drive it yourself and to you know, have to have that work ethic to really push through and get the work done. I tell you, students now know a whole lot more than I knew when I graduated from college. The knowledge base is much bigger. The way that we learn is much bigger. I am so impressed with the intelligence, the energy, the excitement of these young people. To look at the libraries today, to look at the, the learning labs, what great opportunities these students have and, and, and how much further advanced they'll be, that to me can continue to separate the University of Alabama from other schools in the nation. It's the education and the opportunities that are given at UA. For me, it was, it was building a sense of community that was there, and so when that sense of community is being built, then you feel compelled and driven to then invest back in that community. Students who are from in-state and from out-of-state, but who have that shared University of Alabama experience, want to leave the state of Alabama better than the way they found it, better for their children and their grandchildren. Clearly, they're committed to the state. But as graduates of that flagship university, they come with a sense of purpose. Kids are gonna to go to a place where they can make a difference. We make a lot of investment back into our communities and by making our community stronger that way, it makes all of Alabama much stronger. We can do things that have a very positive impact. There are many problems that need to be solved. It's so critical for the state, for the country, for the world. Imagine a world where we're not making advances. The University of Alabama prepares holistically students for the economy of tomorrow. And what an exciting opportunity for the state to have that high quality talent staying here in Alabama and impacting the state of Alabama for decades to come.